Riot? Even you? All right, folks, so here is our campsite. As you can tell, I have my red Embark tent here. I have had this thing going on nine years. I mean, it's been from Colorado, Ohio, Arizona, New Mexico, Texas, all kinds of places. This thing, through this to this day, has held on very strong through all kinds of weather, thick and thin, still great. The only drawback is it is a small tent so it's a it's a tight fit in there so during the summer months i use it a lot during the winter months i tend to use another tent because uh yeah you know with all the extra blankets and coats and stuff like that it just it just gets very cramped but for the hot summer day we're in late july right now it's gonna do just great it's, it's you know through through hell storms and, and rainstorms and burning hot summer days it still holds on great uh you see my straw hat there you'll see in a bit my haversack my water Guerbo over here has a new tent. Now this tent was sent to us by a company called Camp Pros. First time working with them, they offered a tent. Guerbo needed a new tent already. It was already starting to show its wear, his older one. So I agreed to it. Of course, as always, I'm quick to mention that, you know, if there's any shortcomings, any problems with it, I will be sure to mention it in a review or in a camping video. And they agreed to it. So first time setting it up right here it looks quite spacious and uh Cuervo what do you think so far first impressions on the Campros tent so far so good and then from here we got yeah I like the tent too I've never seen it before I'm trying to sneak up on him but he caught me so it's a great tent so there's red from Irish Zombie Nation how's it going everybody and then behind him, off in the distance, is Coles from Irish Zombie Nation. We'll get closer in a little bit. First time in New Mexico. Yep, just yeah. moved over here. Thanks for tuning in, everybody. <laughs> look, look, at that, look at that sunset. Yeah, look at that. <laughs> Jesus. That's what I wanted to come show you. Take a picture of that. Look at that, man. God, that's beautiful. So there's the beautiful sunset. You already saw our camp over there. And now let's move on over here. So the camp adjacent to us, you see a tent right there. And let us meet up these fellas that are gonna be camping with us. And we'll give a tour of their campsite. This is really awesome. I have really been wanting to show this off for some time now. So here are three other fellas that are camping with us. Of course, Guervo Negro is joining me on this adventure. He's been joining me on adventure since what? Since we were like 16 years old. The legend right here. Here we have a shadow. Hello, boys and girls. 
There's Red from Irish Zombie Nation. Slanch, everybody. And Coles from Irish Zombie Nation. Now, Coles just moved in here from Florida. So, from Florida to New Mexico, his first love camping it. adventure. Love it, love it, love it. Awesome. Screw, screw Florida. <laughs> Orlando, Orlando, hell. Yeah. No, no, Florida in general. Right, yeah. And Red and Shadow, we've actually, Cuervo and I, we've, we've camped with them several times. We've never shown it on a Fox channel. Uh, I'm sorry, on a Fox video. Uh, we do have a video on Irish Zomination when we camped last month. Was it like a month ago? Yeah, it was almost one month ago. Yep. Yeah. So first time showing it here on Junkyard Fox. It's always a pleasure to have more people see, you know, different styles of gear and, and that kind of stuff. So that's really cool. And then just a quick little tour of this side of our camp. So there's a propane tank. We cannot make a fire right now. There's a fire ban. Uh, they lifted the fire ban for a couple of weeks. We were very happy, and then they just slapped it to us <laughs> just a couple of days ago. Surprise. So we're going to be cooking dinner there. This is Coles' tent right here. And then check this out. Now, I really love this setup. This is Shadow's truck and his trailer. And he he just parks in that. There we, there we go. Camp is ready to go. He doesn't have to set up no, no tent, no hammock, none of that. He just has his stuff right here he's got his cot he's got his equipment propane all kinds of stuff that is so awesome so in the meantime right now because we are cooking we're having some drinks some whiskey and some beer and we're gonna start cooking up dinner pretty soon so thank you for joining us almost forgot the lady of the group this is riot riot what's riot. up wake up right <laughs> So Riot's been running around for a couple hours out here exploring, and she's pretty tired, so she's feeling a little lazy, but uh, this little puppy joins us in the adventures. She's a Red's doggy. Yeah. She is a Chihuahua and a, uh, a mix between Chihuahua and Red Bone Coonhound of all weird things. Loves chasing lizards out here, but she's now closer to the desert, her home. She, I can't even walk out to go to work anymore without this dog thinking I'm going camping and leaving her behind. <laughs> She's a desert dog and she's a camper. She's doing a great job at it. <laughs> <laughs> I agree. So if you missed last week, Cuervo Negro showed us his personal recipe for chicken tortilla soup. Check out that video if you haven't. And this time, Cuervo is going to be making some for everyone. So check out that video, you know, if you want the full recipe. For now, we're just going to start cooking and uh, yeah, just a little quick montage of that stuff. Cuervo on it. Oh yeah.
So I'm the last one awake. Here's everybody already starting their morning routines, getting some coffee going. Morning. So we finished filming early. Uh, everybody kind of went to bed early. We were all exhausted. It was really hot last night too. So we hit, started hitting the hooch a little earlier than we probably should have. And uh, yeah, we fell asleep. So uh, at the end of the night, uh, Corvo and I ate, ate a bowl of tortilla soup and then we went to bed as well. So uh, we didn't really film too much, but all the shenanigans are going to happen this morning. So right now, of course, we're getting some coffee going. We'll probably heat up a little bit of the pot as well so we can uh, eat some breakfast and uh, start the day. Oh man, it's barely 8 a.m. and it's already cooking hot out here. So really grateful to have that that well where we have some water so we're not just using up our water that, you know, we'd be out of it in a day. So really helps out with keeping cool and staying hydrated. So we're having some breakfast, having some coffee, and then some tortilla soup from last night, a cold tortilla soup. It's just a simplified version because we're lazy right now, but uh, it's still delicious, it's still really good. So be sure to check out that video if you haven't seen the Cuervo Negro's recipe for tortilla soup. A very simple and delicious meal for when outdoors. Did I show you guys this? This is a Bond Arms Derringer. This particular one is in 45 coat and 410. It opens with this lever here, upward. These are 410 shotgun shells. These are PDX bullets for self-defense against people. This is a Snake Slayer. Uh, you can get uh, any barrels you'd like in various lengths and finishes once you have the gun. This one's in 45 and 410. You can get it in 357, 9 millimeter. I believe they even have 10 millimeter, 22, 22 mag. Uh, all you have to do is buy a new barrel after you own the gun portion of it. But uh, this will pretty much take care of anything you need to take care of. But I wouldn't want to shoot it more than these two rounds. <laughs> It's a little bit brutal. Yeah, no, that's a beautiful, beautiful weapon and right there. Made in Texas. And it's called the Snake Slayer. So after this, I get the Snake Eater yeah. and cut up my food. <laughs> that's all you need. You need the Snake Slayer and the Snake Eater, and you're good to go. Slay yeah, it and eat it. <laughs> beautiful. So that's great for self-defense. Absolutely. You know, look at these shells. These are so awesome. Yeah, it'll also take the 45 Colt with this particular what, barrel. Those shells, you said something about like each one has like discs or balls. Or what's <clears> yeah, it? this one's a PDX one? round. This is um, three discs, three copper discs. And I think it's got two, three 35 caliber balls in there as well to come at you. And this one is a 41 caliber slug with two ball balls in there as well this is a critical defense and these this will probably take care of most anything you need to taken care of but you can carry the 40 the 45 long colt in here as well which is pretty cool that's great awesome shadows always bring in the the really cool gear <laughs> <laughs> nice thank you brother and then he's got this beauty over here as well
What is that? This is a Ruger Vaquero in 45 Colt. Uh, these rounds also fit this Snake Slayer. So you can interchange them if, if need be. That's just beautiful. a three and three quarter inch bird head grip, curly maple. These are these are custom grips I had made. Beautiful. Uh, they call them an old Doc Holiday gun. I think Doc used to wear it right here. I also have a cross draw shoulder holster for it that I use. Really nice. But, yeah, all the bullets. Uh, these bullets will fit in the snake slayer. So I really, I really like that. Just have one, one round. And that one's a single action, right? Yeah, this is single action. You have to cock it in order to. And that runs you what, like five hundred? These are about five or six hundred dollars. These are the forty-five the Colt. 45 Colt. Now round. you were telling me about the forty-five Colt. What was the history behind it? <clears throat> My understanding is that they created it to be able to shoot through a horse and hit the Indian on the other side of it, which is <laughs> kind of brutal, but uh, that was the, that's why they made it so big. Yeah. Wow. But uh, these, these also fit in the snake slayer, if you see, and they just, which makes it not as brutal of a shot on this one. But. I love the versatility of the snake slayer pistol. Absolutely. It, it, uh, I mean, I love the Colt as well. Being a you know a Western fanatic, you know old absolutely. classic revolvers are just absolutely just a work of art. But yeah, and then you have these custom grips on them. Look at that! What a beauty! Oh, and also the sheath. Let's see the sheath because that that is a gorgeous yeah, this sheath. This is just an old old school. Uh, it's got the leather tongue for hammer lock. Yep. Some some people don't like that, but that's how you keep it from from losing it. And this is a cross draw, so it sits here on your. So it's just a it's a matter of just pulling it. Really nice. That is awesome. But very old west, which I'm all about. Nice. Well, those other guns I showed you are just to hold people off long enough to go retrieve this. This is my Rossi double-barreled coach gun. It was sawed off at one point and they put a gold bead on it. Uh, this is in 12 gauge. I carry bird shot in here because I like to quail hunt and bird hunt when it's in season, of course. You have a safety here. You have two triggers and this is kind of what we carry around here in the Old West. The short guns are just to get you safe to get to this. And this, this will take care of any of your needs. Nice. Okay, so Coles here has this really cool item that I've never seen in my life before. Yeah, I can't remember where I got it. You got a mirror uh, compass. It is correct. Uh, you got uh, magnifying, so you can start a fire or anything like that. And then if you twist this, this pops out. That one pops out. And you got a set of binoculars. And, yeah, the binoculars alone, I think that's really cool. And the way you're able yeah. to break it down so it's nice and small. I think this would be a great addition to, like, a get-home bag or a bug-out yeah. bag. You're able to see from afar if there's threats or opportunities. You're able to make a fire, navigate, uh, even a small mirror for signaling or to look at yourself, you know, if you have an injury on your face or something like that. That's really awesome. And you don't recall where you got this? No, I've had this thing for years. Yeah, and then you just put it around your neck? Yep. That's really awesome. Really cool piece of gear. So these maniacs, it is barely 10.22 a.m. And they're already hitting the hooch. <laughs> Slancha Slancha. Brothers. It's the day drinking. <laughs> Slancha Fox Nation. <laughs> I, I'm not that far behind. I'm about to set me a cup. Cuervo, do you want a cup of whiskey? All right. <laughs> Riot? Even you? <laughs> Can you can you make it? Drink too much, girl? A little too much jack? It's a little early, no? <laughs> <laughs> so where are we going? 
city. Well, we're at City of Rocks and we're going up to a very special place near this campsite that we've been hanging out at. But now we're gonna show you where we're gonna be at tonight. We're gonna have a fire over here. This is a place, once you look at it, you can imagine that back in the day, bandits or outlaws or whatever came up here and like decided to like we're gonna go rob the stagecoach over this way and you you gotta hide out somewhere <laughs> right this is where we're going oh nice yeah dude we'll have a fire tonight right in the middle of this chairs guitars yeah already one already Got the skylight up here tonight, the stars coming through here. It's very cool up here compared to down in the sun. Oh, yeah. yeah. The, where we just walked up, that leads down to our campsite. If you go down here where the dog's pointing, kind of, you go down that way, it leads to your campsite. That's really awesome. Hell yeah. Yeah. There's Shadow's guitar. <laughs> yeah, you bring your guitar up tonight while the fire in here. You can kind of hear the acoustics yeah. a little bit more than when it's open. Yeah, imagine the music tonight and the fire down here. Yeah, and you can imagine Indians sleeping in here back in the day. And, you know, you'd have a fire right here and yeah. just vent right out like a chimney. You can oh, see yeah. The, you can see the scorch marks from the fires from previous. Who knows, you know, what yeah. band of Indians or outlaws or whatever came down here to hide out from whatever. Or they were getting ready to go do whatever they were doing. I mean, that's, that's old. Yeah, that this is awesome. Well, we stumbled on this place last time we were here, and we yeah. ended up spending the evening in here with a fire, and it was uh, really nice. Yeah, that's really and, uh, cool. Yeah, you'll see tonight. The walls yeah. will be lit up. It'll be awesome. Yeah. It's about twenty degrees cooler in here as well. Oh yeah, yeah. you can feel it right away. The yeah, rocks jammed in between over here. <laughs> that's cool. Yeah. fire marks here also yeah on that back wall oh this would be a cool place to take shelter right here imagine yeah, like in a yeah, hard environment a little, little you know? fire right here you got your bed back over there move some of the rocks out you know yeah there's a chimney basically to for all the smoke to escape yep yeah that's who knows, really nice who knows who slept here in the past that's insane that's so interesting there's a lot of neat little cubbies up here at city of rocks there's lots of little places like this that you can duck in. This is the nicest one I've seen. I've oh, been yeah. here about 10 times already, but <laughs> this is the nicest one we found. Yeah. And it just happened to be right by our campsite. Yeah. We, we got lucky with that. And then right out here, you got that view of that rock just balancing on there. Yeah. yeah. That's, That's really cool. Yeah. All the places since I've been here that you've taken me, I, I love this place. It just, yeah. This especially. <laughs> really awesome <coughs> we'll come back in here tonight and have a nice fire and yeah it'll be really nice ambience and, and riot will stare at this hole over here and freak us out all night that's what she does i don't know why last time she was staring at the, there was a tarantula down there or something and she would not stop staring at it and it looked like i was getting this blair witch feeling <laughs> like the dog sees a specter or something that we all don't see it was freaking us out yeah interesting might be a a snake hole? There, there's a big population of rock squirrels here. Ah. Oh, okay. It could be it could be a rock squirrel thing. Yeah. <sighs> Corvo's already getting in the spirit of things. This is nice. Yeah. Not bad, huh? Yeah, I can't wait. Until tonight when you guys are jamming together. Yeah, yeah, it's gonna be awesome. Such a beautiful area. Now Shadow, you're making Ronies. That's true. It's an old cowboy dish, but probably not. <laughs> so what is Ronies? Explain to us. Uh, Ronies are large elbow macaroni with uh, diced tomatoes and green chili and 
Velveeta and uh, hamburger meat mm. all mashed together. You had me at green chili. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty good. Right. Let's get this thing lit. Might get in business here. Let's spit off a minute. It might. There we go. Okay. Let's get our meat going. Yeah, we'll just, I reckon we'll just take about half of that. Get out of here. Okay. We're going. Okay, and now we wait. Nice. <laughs> awesome. Yeah, very good. Right. We're browning the uh, macaroni now. It's starting to turn a little brown, but we're gonna. We're going to get them where they're all that color. And we'll uh, add some water and get them all swolled up. And uh, we can add our other ingredients. We're going to add some water to it. That's all. Swell up those noodles. Oh, okay. Okay. Let's see what we got here. Okay. Looking okay here. Cans of tomato. Box opened up for me. Got that Rotel. Yeah, Rotel diced tomatoes and green chilies. Not real hot chili, but it is chili. Gonna have to flip coins to see who cleans his pot. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we might have to add more of that later. We don't know yet. Well, we've got one thing here. This is an homage to Junkyard Fox. Here, he likes he likes a lot of spices in his stuff. <laughs> so we'll, we'll put some pepper in there. That's about as much as I do. I love it. <laughs> and we got, let's just put a little bit of salt. We don't need much in here. Yeah. How about a little Old Bay? Mm-hmm. Classic. Put a little bit of that in there. And this one's especially the junkyard box. He loves it. Cayenne pepper. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna put some cayenne in there. And that should do it. We're gonna stir that up and let it simmer for a minute. Take it up a notch or two on the chain.
draw straws for cleaning the pot. <laughs> Did you bring him out? <laughs> I imagine that was really, really hot. <laughs> Cole's you maniac. Damn. <laughs> but good. Good. All right, we're gonna serve ourselves over here. I think yeah. Corvo's already getting some, getting himself some.
Check out this gnarly fella. Moth? Looks like a giant moth. Mothra. So it's the morning of the third day. Last night was really cool. We were hanging out in the cave, playing some music, having some drinks, you know. Um, really fun stuff. But now it's the morning of the third day and we just finished drinking some coffee, drinking some water, and we're about to start breaking down our tents and our campsite so we can start heading out of here in about an hour. the size of this moth okay everyone well that is about it for us we already put away our stuff into the vehicles and we are ready to head on home this has been a really fun three days but i think we can all agree that we are overdue for a nice cold shower <laughs> yeah <laughs> so thank you all for joining me and uh all these fine gentlemen who were great company and uh we'll we'll see you guys next week with another video now go outside and get your boots ready